As we recognize October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month, we want to shed some light on a type of abuse that many don't even realize is such a problem. It's a tool readily available to any abuser and very difficult for victims to detect. CBS 2's Jessica Layton with more on the dangers of cyber stalking and how to protect yourself. Your partner knows where you were last night, even though you did not tell them. It's so simple, it's scary. Software that allows a stalker to secretly spy through an unsuspecting person's cell phone without their consent. Experts call it stalkerware and warn its use is rapidly on the rise, increasing 60% from September 2020 to May 2021. Well, unfortunately, it's been on the increase. Uh, from being a few hundred apps available in the marketplace. The concept may have started with decent intentions, parents installing apps to keep tabs on their kids. I mean, but as Tony Anscombe with ESET Internet Security your, explains, your... it's turned into an industry where a stalker can track a victim's every move without them ever realizing it. These apps can key log so they can see every keystroke on your device. They can extract all the information from your contacts, your messages, your emails. The dangerous app disguises itself as something that's an important function of the operating device on the phone. And it only takes minutes to install. So in the time it takes a person to get up to use the bathroom, take a shower or make a snack, their partner may already have them under surveillance. Groups like Coalition Against Stalkerware also share warning videos, explaining this is most often seen in cases of domestic abuse. Right, and when somebody's controlling all these aspects of your personal information, you have to worry about what they have access to. I know that was a concern for me. As a survivor and a police lieutenant in New Jersey, Heather Glogolich understands in many ways how hijacking a personal device is just one way an abuser exercises control over a victim. I couldn't leave my phone down without my ex-husband looking through it. So technology plays a big role in trapping victims and keeping them in that abusive relationship. Nisha you know, Himes didn't know the dangers of digital be, abuse when yeah, she was trying to leave a toxic been, relationship. You know, but this survivor, okay, who's now dedicated her life to helping other victims, says now she sees it almost every day. If they have a phone that maybe the offender purchased for them or they're, you know, we have to tell them, okay, let's get you a new phone. Both Glogolich and Himes are supporters of a program developed by Sherry Kurtikal, the CEO of Victims Voice. It's a web-based app that gives power to the victim, allowing him or her to document cases of abuse in real time on their device to present to the courts. They're taken through a series of guided questions vetted by prosecutors, and the answers are encrypted and stored in a secure server. There's no dangerous icon sitting on your phone, and there's no trigger such as a receipt that you download in an app. And a lot of victims' uh, emails and such are being tracked and monitored. That kind of awareness and privacy is paramount. That's why even just knowing there could be stalkerware on your phone is the first step to protecting yourself. Low battery life, high data usage, and slow performance on your phone may also be red flags. Yet sometimes intuition is the best indicator that your personal device isn't so private. So bottom line here, if you suspect that you are being stalked through technology, get expert help. Take your phone to a tech company so they can run some programs to check it for you. Also, get police involved. And never try to delete that app yourself. The abuser will get notified, and that could put a person in an even more dangerous situation. And Maurice and Christine, when we see those bins outside domestic violence shelters sometimes that are looking to collect old phones, this is exactly one of the reasons. Good information, Jessica. Thanks Thank so much. Jessica.